Hey HK fans, James here with another video for you and today I wanted to talk to you about HK Pro Training Event 2023. Now what is that you might, uh, might ask? Well, why don't you grab yourself a nice tasty beverage, find yourself a comfortable place to sit, and we'll dive right in. Okay, HK Pro, uh, this dates back actually a couple of decades um, to a time period when a good friend of, and mentor of mine, Jim Schatz, um, who was working for h &K, had created this kind of community outreach program whereby uh, fans of h &K could actually come to a specific location and have access to kind of a touch and feel weapons demonstration of all the latest products as well as learning about some of the legacy things. Um, and uh, once Jim retired from h &K, he continued this, this program on in a charity format um, where, again, H&K fans would show up at a, at a range, they'd spend the morning getting to shoot really unique H&K weapons, and they'd go back, spend the afternoon in the gray room, finish off at a bar or at a restaurant, doing some talk at a time. And it just became really a, a great annual event for all of us big H&K fans to get together and kind of share that knowledge and experience. Uh, unfortunately, after Jim's passing, uh, this event just kind of fell away, and it wasn't until pretty recently that we were able to really restart it again. Um, so that really takes me to just a few years ago. Um, I got a call from h &K, uh, and they said, hey, James, we're doing this big media event, and instead of just doing a, a demo uh, we found a really unique location called WAFT, West Orlando Firearms Training, um, that's going to host it, and we're going to put on a multi-day event, and we want to actually bring instructors down to provide blocks of instruction to all of these, uh, these people that are going to be at the event. And they asked me to come and do uh, a portion of my MP5 training. Of course, you know, don't have to twist my arm on that. Jumped right on board. And, uh, and had an amazing time. And I was blown away by the experience. And before it was even over, myself and a couple of other guys within the uh, HK Pro type family, we were all congregating together and trying to figure out how do we recreate this magic? Because this event, this media event, was a closed, you know, VIP only um, type event that HK put on. But how could we recreate this kind of magic but open it to the general public. And that's how we were able to kind of restart this HK Pro um, experience and turn it into an actual training event, not just a demo, not just a, hey, come and get to shoot some stuff, but actually uh, learn and get some skill acquisition out of the process as well as have some of that kind of fun. And uh, we were able to do that, again, at WAFT, the amazing uh, location that it is, um, as, as our host, we've been able to get H&K to support this event, um, and we kicked it off in 2021. We did it again this year in 2022, and now we're leaning forward into 2023. Uh, but as we got together to plan this next year's event, we really asked ourselves, you know, what was it that we were really after? What was our focus and goal from the start? And it has always been to make the event as immersive within H&K as possible, and to make it, make it as accessible as possible. Uh, and there's no question that doing an event like this, it, there's a cost associated with it. It's, it's expensive. You can't, you can't get all this together and have it for free. Um, but we wanted to find a way to bring the cost down as significantly as we could from what it had been in the past years. And uh, we're really excited. We found a way to do that this year. Um, to take the best attributes, those features that everybody really enjoyed out of our original HK Pro training event, um, find those things that might have been a little bit of uh, duplicity and remove those and then inject back in some more things that guys are really going to be excited about. And, uh, and that's what we've got here today. So, if you'll bear with me, the Marine officer in me has taken over, and of course, I've had to create a PowerPoint presentation, but I thought this would give you a good visual representation of what we've got planned. So if you look at the first uh, slide here, the mission, 
Uh, again, based off of the success of the previous HK Pro training events, uh, we are going back to Waft again as our host to provide uh, an incredibly immersive H&K experience for the fan base. And this training will consist of four different training blocks of instruction um, that are going to be uh, carried on for six students per block over a two-day period. Um, that's going to cover from four to five marks. So you've got an afternoon, or sorry, morning block and an afternoon block on one day, morning block, afternoon block on the next day. So in the end, you will rotate through all four of the different blocks of instruction. Um, as well as, we're going to have an additional special event that's going to be on Friday the 3rd on the evening um, that I think the guys are really going to be excited about um, having on the schedule. As far as an overview, if you've never seen Waft, highly encourage you to go take a look at their website. Um, what Philip and his staff have been able to create um, here just outside of Orlando is, is really, really incredible. I mean, it is really all-inclusive type experience. Um, you know, Florida, most times a year, it's muggy, it's hot. They found ways to defeat that and make the training um, really, really easy for you to fit into with um, amazing classrooms and uh, shooting areas inside in air conditioning and even the outside locations are covered and they've got fans. They've got, they've got one classroom that on a hundred yard range where they literally have aircraft hangar doors you can open up. And if it's pouring down rain outside, you can shoot from inside the classroom out onto the range and hit your paper or steel target. So really, really um, unique area um, that again, allows us to do things that we just couldn't do elsewhere and to be able to transition so rapidly from one event to the next because it's all uh, co-located. And with all of his staff that he has there supporting all of this, I, I, I can't tell you what it's, what it's like uh, from you know, an actual participant to be involved, but as an instructor as well, you literally want for nothing. Everything is there for you. All you gotta do is ask. I mean, I'm literally turning around and magazines have been loaded for me to hand right back to the students as soon as they've just emptied the mags that were in their weapon. Um, their support is, is by far better than anything I've ever seen before. Um, so what are those courses? What are your four blocks of instruction? Well, we've got four to, uh, to go through and I'll start with the first one and that's a low light scenario. This is one that I think when people look at this, they probably think the least about. They're probably, oh yeah, I'm not gonna learn anything from that. I wanna get to shooting the, the MP5s, the full auto stuff. Um, but I guarantee, because I've seen it myself and I've seen it with the students who've gone through, it's the low light scenario training that people find most impactful, most enlightening and, and you know, opening up their minds. So that one um, definitely wanted to keep on the schedule. You're really, really gonna enjoy that especially if you've never done any kind of scenario-based training before, but even if you have, um, you will be impressed with how much you're going to learn um, through that block instruction. And then we've got uh, MP5, SP5 operator course. We've got a red dot operator course, which again, all the rage these days, um, you just can't get enough of this kind of instruction to transition you from standard um, you know, iron sights on your pistol uh, and then we've got a conceal carry focused course that's going to uh, allow you to really um, take your skill level you, you probably think you already have, uh, have gotten good mastery at and take it to another level. And that one will really transfer over to the low light scenario class. So the first one, low light scenario. This is taught by Philip, um, the owner of Waft and some of his members of staff. Um, and this covers real world scenarios that you can be placed into regardless of your experience level um, and then have to deal with um, low light, no light uh, conditions, the ability to change those lighting conditions inside the training room, um, incorporating handheld lighting techniques, which we should all be uh, familiar with and comfortable in using um, and engaging with a VP9 using simulation training. What I found most impressive about Philip's approach to this is that he does homework on each individual participant ahead of time and he tailors each scenario 
for that specific participant based off of your experience level. So if you've never held a gun before, well, he's not going to give you a VP9. Uh, he's going to base it off of that. Or if you're, you know, super secret SEAL level, well, he can ramp it up. And he's got himself, he's got other um, instructors that are going to be there as role players um, and changing those scenarios each time. So you as the participant are never going to see the same scenario twice. And even better, the other thing I really enjoy about it is when I've done this in the past, you have no awareness of it. You step into the scenario, you do the scenario, you leave, um, you don't get to see anything else. The way he's got it with an observation room, all the other people in your group, uh, your block of instruction group rotation, are going to see all of the actual scenario rotations. And again, none of them are really going to be the same. So instead of you just getting five reps yourself and getting to uh, experience that, you're going to get your reps plus all the other five people in your training group. Uh, so it's a massive amount of learning uh, in a short amount of time. Again, I can't say enough about how much you're going to take away from this, from your own kind of situational awareness or, you know, just conceal carry. How do I approach, you know, these types of scenarios in, in real life and how well prepared am I uh, to deal with those? So that's our first block instruction. Uh, next one, we've got Tom Dresner. He's uh, the founder of HK Pro, um, the forum's website. He's a former member of HK ITD, and he's going to be providing uh, your block instruction on the MP5, SP5 experience. Um, this is a condensed version of what normally is a two-day operator course that he provides. Um, and again, it's a fan favorite. Uh, had to keep it in here uh, for this block instruction. Again, he's going to give you those um, skills that you're going to need to get the most out of your MP5, SP5. Um, whether you're really familiar with it um, or you're a newbie, you're going to see your performance level rapidly um, improve in a short amount of time. Um, and I think everybody who's taken this course has come away with a greater appreciation, not just for the MP5 series, uh, but how capable they can be with it, again, in a, in a very short amount of time. So really excited to have Tom back for that one. Then we got my good buddy um, from uh, on loan from us from the HK shooting team, Derek Giddings. He's going to be providing a red dot optic um, operator course utilizing the VP9 series of weapons, their optic ready models. So the VP9, VP9 SK, the long slide, and the max models, they'll all be there with different manufacturing and model type uh, red dot. So you get to, you know, kind of test and try um, all these different models and beyond the basic fundamentals um, of understanding how to utilize a red dot, what's really awesome about Derek's uh, program is he's going to take you through the things that he does as a competition shooter for H&K and you're very rapidly going to be, you know, moving and shooting, giving you the confidence and capability to, you uh, move fast and shoot even faster. And this one I think is one that I don't think the students really had an idea about how capable they were gonna be at the end and how challenging and fun it was across all skill levels to see guys and girls uh, making rapid gains. So really another uh, awesome opportunity for you guys, especially if you're new to uh, Red Dot Optics. And then you've got me uh, for the uh, fourth block of instruction I'm going to be giving you a condensed version of what normally would be a two-day uh, handgun operator course, and I've scaled it back to focus specifically on concealed carry type fundamentals, those rapidly progressive uh, skill-based stackable drills, one skill stacking on the next, that's going to give you um, really maximum um, potential with your chosen handgun. In this case, we're going to be using the VP9 uh, SK series. Uh, big takeaways from these, I think, from the students are kind of the why behind what we're working on, which may be completely different in fundamentals from how you may have approached stance or grip or vision before. Um, and then arming the students with specific drills that they can take back and practice on their own. Um, so this one, again, I've gotten a lot of rave reviews from in the past and definitely the ones who take this rotation first before they go into the low light scenario training, come out and say, hey, those things that you taught me 
Um, I went right in and working with Philip, and I applied them, and they worked exactly as, as we thought they would. So really, really cool. So those are your four blocks of instruction. Well, then we've got our special events. So the first one is going to be on the evening, the Friday evening, as the, we start off. Normally what we do is we meet up at WAFT, and Philip gives us an initial kind of welcome board brief, shows us around the area. He's got some hors d'oeuvres for us. Just nice, a nice casual way to start it off. In the past, we've had H&K be there to give us a presentation on you know, the status of the company and some new products they might have coming out. But this time, we decided to change it up a little bit. And uh, one of the ideas we had, which it's so awesome that they've, uh, they've l latched onto this, is, is to think about what are the things that people really want to do uh, when they think about H&K that they may not have the opportunity to do before. And one of those things is access to H&K's Gray Room. Their Gray Room is their kind of weapons museum, um, historical lineage area that used to be housed at their headquarters in Virginia and recently was moved down to Columbus, Georgia. But if you're not you know, going to Columbus, Georgia, either to attend a uh, HK Armor course there or to just a special invite, you just don't have access to that thing. It's not open to the general public. Um, but what if we could bring the gray room to us? What if there was a traveling gray room? Um, and that's exactly what we've uh, been able to coordinate with H&K now. They've actually got a mobile uh, display case that they use for some of their smaller um, you know, gun shows. And, um, and they've got legendary Bob Schultz. And Bob is uh, going to hand pick a series of really rare and unique gray room weapons, outfit this display booth, and they're gonna bring it up uh, and, and wheel that thing in and set it up for us. So that's gonna be there on that uh, initial night. You're gonna get a presentation from Bob on all the different weapons, kind of a free-flowing ask Bob anything session, and then the ability to get your hands on them, touch and feel them, ask those questions, take pictures and videos. Um, I think that's gonna be something that the fans are really gonna get to enjoy, especially if you've never uh, been to the gray room. And even if you have been, the ability to hear the background, the stories, um, some of the lineage that goes along with these weapons, probably not, uh, not too many people better than Bob to be able to uh, ask those questions for. Uh, so that's the first, uh, first special event. On that same night, uh, we're also going to hold a, uh, a silent auction. And we've done this in the past with H&K. It's a great opportunity. They're going to bring some you know, unique uh, items and allow the participants to place bids on them. And then we'll have them available the whole weekend at, on Sunday at the end of the day. We'll announce those winners. So um, you'll definitely uh, want to be a part of that. Bring your checkbook um, so that uh, you can participate in that and you'll be able to take it home that time. If it's a special weapon like they've done in the past, um, they'll coordinate with you through your FFL so that you can get it shipped, um, shipped there for transfer. As well. But um, definitely another cool event. And then the second, or I guess the third, if you count the auction, the, uh, the next special event is um, a shoot house run. We did this kind of on the cuff uh, at the last event. And it really, really went well. Um, the shoot house at Wolf's is continually in a stage of improvement. And uh, I've been really excited to see what Phillips has been able to do. So it's going to be even nicer than it was the last time. And what we're working with H&K on is to bring a really unique and rare full auto weapon for us to run through. I'm not going to say what it is yet because we're, we're still working uh, with them to get what we really hope we can get um, for you. But... Awesome opportunity um, if you've never gotten to you know shoot and move um, with a full auto weapons, never gotten to do CQB type stuff, uh, get multiple runs through there, getting coaching from from myself and Tom and and, uh, and Derek as you go through. This is another really um, highlight event for a lot of the people. So we're going to be doing that, rotating guys through in the breaks between the after, the morning and afternoon blocks on both Saturday and Sunday as well. So. That's the full event. That's what we've got planned. Now let's talk about planning considerations for you. Okay. Travel. You should plan to travel on the third, Friday the third, getting there sometime, you know, early morning, middle afternoon, so you can make it out to Waft um, for the evening event. And then on the back end, you're going to plan your return travel on Monday the 6th. I highly encourage that you do not try and fly out 
on a Sunday night, catch a red eye back. You are going to be mentally and physically exhausted from everything that we're um, putting on you. And you really want to take advantage of that last night to get a, a good night's sleep. So plan to, to travel on the third and then again on the sixth. Lodging and travel is on you as the participant, okay? How you get there, where you stay is totally on you. If you need recommendations for lodging in the area, you can contact Walth and they'll give you a couple of hotels that we normally stay at. Um, but the, um, the hors d'oeuvres on Friday night, that light dinner, that's gonna be all provided by Walth. The breakfast and lunch on Saturday and Sunday, all professionally done, um, catered, by the WASH staff, they do an amazing job. And then Philip always has a way of throwing in some special surprises um, there as well. So the dinners on Saturday and Sunday, those will be on you. Normally we coordinate with all the participants, you know, try and get them all together and we'll go out and, and do dinner out in town and kind of continue on the dialogue. Um, but that's how that works. As far as what do you need to bring, all of the equipment is gonna be provided. h and is gonna bring us all the guns. We've got all the holsters, all the mag pouches. We've got eyes and ears. We've got slings. We've got everything that you're going to need is going to be there. If you, uh, and all the ammo too, um, so you don't have to worry about dealing with any of that mess. If you want to bring your own you know, shooting belt, holster and mag pouch rig, you can totally do that. If you've got your own eyes and ears you want to bring, you can totally do that, but it's going to be provided. What do you need to bring? You need to bring seasonal clothing in an active wear type um, you know, uh, capability, comfortable shoes, and a, and a sturdy you know, kind of uh, gun belt. Not a, not a war belt rig, but a belt that holds your trousers up that you could hook a holster and mag pouch um, to. That's it. Everything else is gonna be there provided for you. And then the last thing you're gonna bring is your checkbook so you can participate in the silent auction if you choose to, okay? As for questions and how to register, if you've got questions, you can definitely you know contact me. You can comment on the bottom of this video. You can contact me through direct message on the social media platforms I'm on. You can email me through my website. Be happy to answer them. Obviously, you can contact WAF directly. Um, the, the link to register for the event is right here at the bottom of this question page. It's www.waft.regfox slash HK Pro 3 dash March dash 2023. Okay. I'm super excited about this event. Um, it's been a massive success um, from the HK fan base in the past. And this year being able to make it even more accessible um, to reduce the cost, to even reduce the, the time, because we know how valuable that time is, time away from family, time away from work. We wanted to pack as much as we could into the time frame. We've got you. I think we've got a solid plan for that. I'm incredibly excited to um, meet with old friends again and to uh, to find some new H&K friends in the process. So I look forward to seeing you guys in March 2023.